I'm Coach Mickey, and I'm so glad that you've joined us. And if this is your first time joining us, come on in and make yourself comfortable. For those of you that join us on a regular basis, I'm so glad that you do. And thank you so much for always reaching out to our guests. And I love your comments, your questions, and your suggestions of all of my guests that I have on. We've had some incredible, incredible guests. And today is no different. And <laughs> You guys are probably laughing because I always say I'm so excited about my guests, but that's why I have this podcast is because everybody I bring on has something to offer. And I wish, I wish wholeheartedly that I had had these two amazing women when I was having children. And one of my guests you have heard in the past, and she is uh, going to come here with some new information, but also we are going to a collaboration today and I'm just going to jump right in. So today we have got with us Jessica Hung and Therese Fezzington. And what we're going to, Fe, Fezzington, Fezzington, you changed your name is different now, Therese. Uh, yeah, it's Therese Flores, but my married name is Fezzington. Yes. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So uh, Jessica is a uh, co-founder of Parasol Diapers. And as a women-owned business, they are dedicated to innovating diapers that prevent diaper rash to sensitive skin babies. And Therese, you have heard before on my podcast, and I just love her, love her, love her, because again, I wish I had had somebody like her when I was having kids. She is the founder of Think a Newborn Online Education Now. How fun is that? Empowering parents with information and resources that you're going to need to build confidence as a new parent, anywhere from breastfeeding to sleep training. So welcome, both of you. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me today. How are you? Great. Doing well. Thank you so much. Thank so you, just, Mickey. <laughs> uh, I just I'm going to jump in with you because I, this is something that I think is absolutely amazing. Because as a mom, and and there probably as other parents who are listening, that diaper rash is huge when it comes to having babies and and children. So I love I love what you have come up with, and I, I'm just going to ask. First of all, let's talk a little bit about you. So tell me a little bit about you and who you are. Of course. Well, everybody, nice to meet you here. Um, I am a first generation immigrant from Taiwan. Uh, so I speak Mandarin as well, too. Uh, that's my first language. Uh, I'm a single mom of ver two very wonderful kids. They are a little older. They are not babies anymore. <laughs> I've been working since the age of 14. So wow. I've been a career woman. You know, my career took me from being a CPA. I uh, specialize in taxation for Fortune 300 companies to then owning a small business in education sector in California and started to uh, working out some uh, investment in real estate here. In 2015, a friend of mine who is a mother of five kids, uh, she shared a little bit of her struggle finding some quality diapers for her children. I did some research and then I was blown away by, wow, this is interesting. Like nothing had ever changed for a couple of decades after I had my two young babies. So I decided to, you know, check out more. And one thing led to the other. That's how I, you know, become the uh, co-founder of Parasol Diaper Company. And I just love working. I uh, through our all this uh, journey, I met so many different incredible friends, and every single step it just keep leading me to incredible people like Therese and also now today Mickey. So it's been wonderful, and that's who I am, <laughs> a nonstop working mom. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love the fact that you took a challenge that we deal with as a parent, and you you just you just ran with it to create something that I know is going to be successful. I mean, this is just incredible, especially for, for you know, infants. Because like I said, diaper rashes seems to be the most prevalent thing that happens pretty much at any, at any time and with any parent, you know, when we oh, have yeah. children. So I love it. I love it. Okay, so Therese, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, just have you recap. I know a lot of our circle of friends have heard you and they love you because they're always commenting on you. But you have now got an online education, and I love it. So you've taken it a little step further from just going into people's homes and helping them to actually now offering something online. Therese, sorry about that. Yes. Um. Yes, there was such a need, you know, for my services in home. It was difficult to keep up. I'm only one person, um, you know, and I've 
I've worked within the early child care industry since I was 18. So um, like Jessica, I started working in high school when I was even younger than, uh, you know, than college, college, um, my college time in college. And um, so, you know, people and families love that I've just been doing this for so long and I have the formal education aspect. So um, I was stretching myself thin and just so tired. I, it was impossible to work every night. I have to, you know, I have a family as well. So um, we came up with this idea for online educationable education, which is um, accessible nationwide. And it's a subscription service. So we have an annual rate and a monthly rate as well. That is great. I love it because now you have an opportunity to reach out, you know, so much further because your knowledge and what you have to offer is is so important. And I, it really does help because like we said before, you know, children don't come with a manual. So <laughs> a new parent sometimes it's, it's difficult, especially when you don't know. I love it. So, okay. So my next question is, how did you two meet to collaborate together? Because this is like a perfect match. This is so perfect. <laughs> Therese, you want to take yeah. the lead? Sure. sure, I'll go ahead and share a little bit. So it was actually very serendipitous. Um, I think, you know, it's very common for doulas or newborn care specialists like myself to reach out to other companies and just see if they would like to collaborate with sort of samples to gift our clients and, um, you know, products that we love. So I'm always looking for new products. My clients always have new products that they've come across um, that I learn about. So I reached out to Parasol on Instagram. I think they just showed up on like a suggested. So I reached out to them and said, hey, like, would you be interested in, you know, like having any samples? I think, you know, I do a lot of expos and things, events. So it's always nice to give things out to new parents. Um, and then I believe it was Jessica, you know, um, someone somehow it got in Jessica's hands. And then she had actually emailed me and said, oh, can you come to, you know, our office, our local office? And I said, sure. And um, so then we went. We went ahead and met. I had no idea what to expect. So um, it turned out, you know, we've just sort of built trust and a friendship along the way. And um, here we are. And I'm so honored to work with Parasol as well. Yeah, so it's great when you find when you meet somebody that you can actually collaborate with and do something that just fits the perfect niche of what you're doing. Uh, yeah. so, so Jessica, I, I know you, I mean, you shared how you came up with the idea. So explain how your diapers work, you know, to, to prevent, to, you know, to help with diaper rash for sensitive skin babies? Well, there are a lot of the details. There's many different work that, that have to combine and happen all together to make it working out perfectly. So, it, I mean, besides uh, the, the raw materials that have to be really, really good qualities. Uh, so what had happened is um, uh, in 2015, when I started with this idea, and because I was a total outsider, I had no idea about how to make a diaper. I just I just have the idea about like, hey, you know what? Something better, something high quality need to be introduced. So I had a consultant and he took me on a very, very long trip. We visited about 20 different countries. I basically wow. went to raw material suppliers, manufacturers, all over the place from Asia to Europe to even Middle East. And of course, met with a lot of very capable vendors in North America to really understand, uh, you know, what's their insights for their offerings, their production processes, their motivations. And then I was so amazed. I observed varying approaches, you know, different strengths and weaknesses in, in a lot of different type of practices. Um, in the meantime, I was trying to get to the understanding of what's the reason that's really causing the diaper rash. So I don't know if you know, um, in in United States, and this was a few years back, uh, when uh, big companies, they started to launch, you know, featuring 12 hours absorbency for the diapers. Uh, it's really, really uh, convenient, and it sounds a very desirable features for a lot of diapers. At the meantime, when that product launched, uh, there's an indication, you know, the diaper rash cream sales also jumped over the roof. That basically tells people that extended um, um, exposure to the wetness on the diaper, with soil diaper, can cause the potential issues. So we have to tackle 
a few things. We have to make our diaper dry really fast. We have to making sure all the all the uh, urine that went down, uh, gone down to the diaper will never ever surface again to touch the baby's skin. We have to make uh, the diaper extremely breathable. Uh, we have to make the uh, material really soft. Uh, we have to make the fit if it's right, so it doesn't irritate any any parts of their skin. So it, it's a, a a lot of combinations to making sure it works extremely well for the skin, and that's how basically I started. You know, take all every single potential element that can create uh, any problems for the a uh, baby skin issue, and then went on a very thorough testing for six months with Dermatest, which is in uh, Germany, to have our material and the product testing on sensitive skin babies to get a result that's literally with 200 babies, uh, 24 hours, consecutively 48 hours, and then 72 hours on our diapers, uh, give us a zero result of any rotation on the skin to then confirm it's good to launch. So it's a it's a no joke. It's a, it's a definitely not um, easy. It 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 did take time, but I just feel great. I feel comfortable that when I truly can give that peace of mind to the parents, that make me sleep better. <laughs> well, yeah, you you took a, a challenge that most parents deal with, and I remember even when my children were you know babies, one of the things that was rough for me was I hated when those the elastic were like cut into their yeah. little legs and then they'd yes. be red. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and, and you you couldn't make it loose because then it was a problem because now you're, it's leaking. But then if you made it too tight, you know, if you made it too tight so it didn't leak, they these poor little things had that. And I was like, forget it, I'll deal with the leaking because I don't want them to have the, you know, that, that red mark. So the fact that you took all of these challenges and you tested it and said, okay, well, what about this? And what about that? And you took it to collaborate and make a, a diaper, make a product that actually fit and addressed all of these these issues is, yeah. is amazing. I mean, and then to have it say, okay, okay, we're ready to go. And the fact that you didn't you didn't just skate by with something. I love it. I love the fact, plus you're a mom. You know, if we do this, you know, sort of like you, Therese, we're a mom. We know these challenges. And people, you know, they're like, I just need someone to to fix this or have an answer. And you took something that, that was uh, in the marketplace and you made it better. And trust me, yeah, trust me. I drive my manufacturers crazy. Good. Uh, every time when they hear Jessica's coming, they were like, "Oh, this crazy woman." <laughs> That's good. They're like, oh my god, you know, headache <laughs> coming. Passionate what she's about going what to complain about? <laughs> yeah. And that's me, and that's why when Teresa reaching out to us, you know, and after I learned, wow, this is great. This is a, a very professional service provider and she's right in Orange County and I wanted to meet I don't just want the team member to send her a product and say okay let's collaborate and then you know go for it I I scheduled a meeting with her in face I introduced the product I explained to her how this is going to work I I listen carefully of what you know what what are the parents um uh, issues what kind of product or quality that they are looking for I constantly learning uh, from the professionals and the parents. And I think this is very important. It's not just something in my own head that's thinking, okay, this is what I want to do. It's all about what Jessica wants. It's not. It's really all about what the parents really need. And I better be a great listener. And as soon as I learn something and I and I test it, I check it, and I know like, okay, this is going to be something critical and important, not just for them, but for the babies, I then will take it from there until I finally get it from my manufacturer to deliver that to the parents. Uh, it's it's a, it's a hard, but I, for whatever reason, I enjoy that process. And I guess that's why I survive <laughs> for the business. <laughs> it's like a torturing myself, you know, to, to, to get to it. No, you actually, there's a word for this, Jessica. It's called passion. 
<laughs> that's right when you have got passion there are no obstacles because you're either going to go around them over them or right through them so uh no it's actually i love the fact that you don't settle and that you want something that is out there in the marketplace that is just so extraordinary and and uh so we're looking for that just has so much uh potential but also you see what the challenges are and you've got an answer for it, you know, and that is what makes it makes a really good product because you've taken your passion and you've put it into something and every parent that's going to use your diapers is going to see that because you've taken the time to recognize what is needed. You know, same thing with you, Teresa, you know, I know you go out and you work with all of these parents that have got newborns and, and babies. And again, you take them through each and every step on what to do and how to do it and help build their confidence, you know, and, and again, you're, and that's why I keep bringing you back because your passion for creating, you know, a much better environment for newborn, you know, newborns and for the parents, you know, your passion comes through, you know, and that's what makes you two incredible, not only business women, but just two incredible, extraordinary individuals, you know, and that's why I love, you know, hearing your stories. So, so Therese, I know, so I'm, I'm, have you had an opportunity to incorporate uh, the Parasol diapers into some of the clients that you've used? Yes. So Parasol has been gracious enough to, you know, um, mail me samples on demand. If I email Jessica, they're usually at my doorstep within 48 hours, which is so kind. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, I do have clients that have switched from competitive competitor um, brands. And they've loved Parasol. They've sort of, you know, heard great things about a certain brand. And they're like, oh, we'll pay the extra money for this brand. You know, it's wonderful. And then it's maybe just not a right fit for their baby for whatever reason. And I introduced Parasol. And, um, you know, I know what, I have one client uh, recently. And they're like, you know what? They they put off Parasol for a little bit because they were convinced this pop, you know, this name brand was the one. And then they tried Parasol and they said, you know, we signed up and we're getting parasol. Um, so it definitely helps, you know, having little sample packs on hand. Um, parasol gives me sort of like two little sample packs, which the parents love for putting inside their diaper bags for on the go. And then I might offer them, you know, as a gift, usually um, a greeting gift or a parting gift. I usually offer them a pack of, you know, a full pack of diapers as well um, and wipes. I love it. The, the, the collaboration, you know, that's how it works, right? I mean, we you give a little bit and you share. You know, I always, I've always believed that, you know, when it comes to business, is that you having the collaboration, you actually lift each other up, and that's what creates success. And both of you are just you have such a uh, great combination to be able to complement each other. So I can see why this business has worked the way it has for both of you. Uh, wow, that is, that, first of all, it's very generous of you, Jessica, and, and what, a, what a great way. But, and then also for you to be incorporated, Trace. You know, I was just thinking when you were talking about it, you know, see, that's the challenge. People go, well, it, you know, it's a little bit more, you know, it's a little bit more um, cost. But when you think about it, you're really saving so much more because like you said in the beginning, Jessica, if people are buying diaper rash ointment, and their child is is dealing with is uncomfortable, and then but you could have a little bit more with a, a product such as parasol diapers that's going to prevent the diaper rash and never cause you know I'm not saying never because that's an absolute but you know may not cause a diaper rash or something with with a child that is so you know it's invaluable. So I mean so looking at it that way it's like it's it's worth it. You're getting quality you know for what you're what you're getting for with your product. Yeah. I wow. think a lot of the parents, especially first time parents, young parents, uh, they have no idea why the babies will have rash, right? They, they must mm -hmm. be scratching their head thinking like, okay, is it the food? Is it the outfit? Is it the, they, they have no idea. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, most of the time they probably need to go to the pediatrician, the doctor, right? They have to spend the time, uh, go visit the medical professionals. They will have to buy the diaper rash cream. They have to try many different things. That whole process, you know, just to tackle this one issue, if we can go from the root, not even giving them that at all, I think it's not just about money. I think parents at the beginning, when when the life change, right, this is a brand new milestone, 
they don't even sleep well. I mean, I remember when when I had my first uh, son, um, I was breastfeeding, and I'm literally like getting up every two to three hours constantly. My son was like a you know a a, a clock, you know, one a.m., four a.m., seven a.m. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, it's work. Work. It's you cold, have yeah. to yeah, and you you don't even have sleep, and you your brain doesn't work the same way. How how are you going to handle and tackle another issue that coming along your way? I think it's too much. And diaper is supposed to solve a problem for you, right? To handle the urinations and, and, and the bone movement. It's supposed to do its work, but then when it becomes a product that gives you another health or skin problems, that, that deviates from what it's supposed to service. So it's, a, I mean, to me, I'm, to give parents a peace of mind, it's very critical in, in the principle of Parasol's um, uh, philosophy. You know, we, we have to attend to every single detail that can potentially do the best, not just for the physical part of it, but for the mental side of it too. Give them some sleep, for God's sake. You know, they don't have enough sleep already. I'm sure Therese know, like all the challenging the parent have to tackle and you know, figuring out from there. And that's why she's there to help too. Yes, exactly. So I do, um, you know, in-person support, I do overnight shifts a majority of the time um, because the parents need their rest. And, you know, those three hour marks um, come come oh. along where they have to wake, where they wake up and they need to change. And so, um, you know, I, you know, uh, postpartum support, you know, it's an investment and it's a gift and it's wonderful, but, you know, the the cost of as Jessica mentioned a doctor's appointment and healthcare um or, or you know ha- uh, having someone to have overnight sleep overnight care um you know there's a price to pay of some sort so why not you know help your make your uh, life a little easier and have a dry diaper throughout the night oh yeah every little element is going to help especially as a new parent but like you said you've got if you've got one thing that one challenge that's been addressed and now you know, you don't have to worry about a diaper rash because you've you've taken the steps to be able to prevent that. Like you said, that's going to help. But then also, and then having the knowledge of what to do and and how to do it. You know, that's that's a great combination to be able to at least make it a little bit easier. It's never going to be easy. It's never easy having kids all the way up until the age of eighteen. Oh my gosh, my kid's twenty three. <laughs> I'm still dealing with issues. <laughs> hey, trust me, Mickey. It's a full life. It's a full I life. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So, but if I would have had something that didn't have that prevented diaper rash, that would have taken a little, little chip out of that. <laughs> that one, that one element of being a parent. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, you guys have been so much fun. I really enjoyed having you, and I love what you're doing. I love the fact that both of you have taken such important things as a as a as a mom, as an individual, you know, and seeing what we needed and and taking it and just ran with it to make everybody's life better. And uh, so we've got a few more minutes. So is there anything um, that you would like to add or you'd like to share before we wrap it up? No, I think, go ahead. I, yeah, I think everything's great. Thank you so much for having me. And, um, you know, we do have a coupon code that we would like to offer all the listeners. It's keep on sharing 20 for uh, 20% off of diapers and 20% off of my online educational services. So go ahead and visit FikaNewborn.com underneath the education tab, and you can find all of our online new parent education. Oh, that is so kind of you. Thank you so much. And then they can also find you uh, on all your websites. And as everybody knows, and uh, both Jessica and uh, Teresa's website will be in the description of the podcast. So look for Parasol Diapers and then also Beacon Newborn. And again, you know that for all of that information will be given in the podcast. But I'd also like to thank them for being uh, the gracious sponsors to a lot of our YouTube channel and also our podcast and also you can find them on keep on sharing too along with all our other social medias jessica is there anything else you'd like to to add before we wrap it up uh i just wanted to say uh i like you said i wish when i had my baby i have somebody like therese you know who's so good who knows so much about how we have to handle certain things and give us the kind of help that we needed 
Uh, it's a very important and, and I highly recommending parents get professional help. And believe it or not, I, we have so many parents, uh, it's re- literally becoming uh, friends. They have the first baby, second baby, third baby, fourth baby, you know, still coming back to use parasol. And we chat and different kids, they have different issues. Sometimes they have sleep issues. Sometimes, you know, kids have this other kind of uh, issue, reaching out to professionals and that will really save the time and then get to the bottom of the problems right away. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted to. I can only do one thing. I get rid of Dr. Rash for you. Everything else, <laughs> go to Therese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's just another reason why I found the online virtual educational education so beneficial for parents and to have easy access to yes, it. Yes, um, love that. Because we have new, we have new, um, new parent educators, healthcare providers that are all on the platform and you know, it's easy, accessible at your fingertips. And then, you know, you can get your sleep and really dig into the educational information on the online service at an affordable price. Thank you so much. You have been awesome. Thank you so much, both of you, for being with me today and sharing all your insight and information and uh, your knowledge and creating some wonderful things for our circle of friends and for all over the globe, all over the globe, because both of you are online. So I'm assuming everybody can reach to you, reach out to you no matter where they live on the earth. Is that yep. correct? Exactly. Yeah. Certainly. Okay. Yep. Same. Totally. There you go. And you've already traveled most of the earth to around the country. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you again for both being with me. And I look forward to hearing from both of you again and hear how everything is thriving and what changes have happened. And uh, please, please, please know that you're welcome to come back anytime. And I wish both of you an abundance of success in, in everything that you're doing. Thank, thank you, you so Mickey. Thank you. Bye, right, Therese. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. So thank you so much for being with us. As you guys know, the most courageous thing you can do is be yourself. I really, really hope that if you are a new parent, you know anybody that is a new parent, please reach out to either uh, Jessica or Therese. And again, you can find them at parasoldiapers.com and also for newborn.com. All that information will be down in the description. And I will look forward to seeing you. Until then, until our next podcast, see ya. This episode was brought to you by KeepOnSharing.com. They're calling themselves the first truly ethical social network. They'll share back 50% of their revenue with their users, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's free to register, and they never sell your information. You can list your products, events, and content for free. Adult content accounts, be gone. They're fun, positive, and encouraging sites supporting local business. In a day and age where social media sites, even well-established ones, are being brought to light left and right for their questionable and sometimes downright archaic business practices, KeepOnSharing.com is a well-needed breath of fresh air. While you can share personal content, news articles, or just about anything for fun and profit, the marketplace allows practically anyone to sell anything at any time from anywhere. But on this site, you are the boss. I cannot express how amazing it is that KeepOnSharing.com shares 50% of all revenue back with the users on top of having a truly transparent, supportive, and clean business model. Check them out. I'm signing up. Will you? Go ahead and meet me on there. Just go to KeepOnSharing.com. A link will be provided in this episode's description. 